Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into our soap haul. Um, I didn't actually count how many we have here, um, but these are the soaps that I picked up when they had the soap sale at Bath & Body Works. I'm just going to go ahead and go over here, and I'll just show you how much they typically are. And as you can see, yes, I have a lot of the um, Black Cherry Merlot. Um, that is actually our favorite hand soap. It is absolutely my favorite candle. Um, I absolutely love the hand sanitizer. Um, so the first one we picked up, um, this is, is the Black Cherry Merlot, and this one is the Creamy Lux Hand Soap. And I'm just going to check and see um, the actual price on it. Hold on a second. Let me see if it's on here. $7.50. That day they were either $325 or $395. So I can't remember right now, but I think they were $325. And then I had a 20% off coupon. And I'm just checking to see if there's any key notes in here. Um, I thought maybe they would tell you what's in it. Well, um, it just says it is. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, so it's dark cherry, black raspberry, and merlot. This is absolutely my favorite hands down um, hand soap. I absolutely love it. So we picked up in the Creamy Lux, we picked up five of the Creamy Lux. And then over here, this one is actually the Gentle Gel Hand uh, Soap. And I'm just going to check the price on these as well. And these are... These are $7.50 as well. And so we picked up five of the Gentle Gel Hand Soaps. And these are also the Black Cherry Merlot Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. Uh, this is the Foaming um, Hand Soap. So we picked that one up as well. I'm just going to check and see if the price is the same. And then this one is actually $6.50. And so we got, let's see, one, two, three, four. This goes over here. And this one is the foaming. This one is foaming. This is foaming. Okay, so in the Lux, you guys, you know what? If it's not my cat walking through, it's our dog walking through. Um, they always got to try to be on the video. Okay, so the Black Cherry Merlot, the Creamy Lux, we have five of those. And then for the... Gentle gel hand um, soaps. We have six of those, and those are black cherry mellows as well. Um, I'm curious to see if they have the same notes in these as the other one. Let me see. Yes, they do. So it's dark cherry, black raspberry, and merlot. I love those warm smells, those the warm tones of the black cherry merlot. So we picked up five of the Lux. We picked up six of the Gentle Gel Hand Soap. And then we picked up, looks like, eight of the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. And so the Lux, as well as the Gentle Gel, um, are $7.50. And then the Foaming um, one is $6.50. And so, actually, hold on a minute. These back here are also the the um, soft gel. So we actually got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got eleven of these of the gentle gel. I love the gel. I'm not too keen on the foam. Um, I really, really love the Lux and the gel. So these were all black cherry merlots. So we picked those up. Um, over here in the corner, I have two of the Fuji Sands. Um, well, let's see if I can get the notes on this one. This one is White Sands, Vanilla Orchard, and Warm Amber. So I only picked up two of these. I'm thinking that I was probably walking out the store and they were sitting on the counter. And, um, I had a budget I was spending, so I probably grabbed those two. Um, and let me see. I don't know if I've ever purchased those before. Let's see if I like the smell. Let's see. I can't get them. Hold on, you guys. 
And so I was actually able to get the uh, Fuji White Sands open. It's a nice summer smell. Um, I really, really like that one as well for spring and summer. That's really, really nice. So I'll be putting those away since we're going into the fall weather. Um, on a scale from 1 to 10, the Black Cherry Molo gets a 10 from me, hands down. The Fuji White Sands, I give that a 8 um, on my scale. And then this one is a new one for me. I just picked it up. And when you're in Bath and Body Works, the problem comes into play is that there's so many smells in there. And if you already know your go-tos, you pick your go-tos up, that's fine. But then when they come out with new uh, fragrances, um, it's hard to really, really know how it smells unless you review the um, reviews online. And then again, you might not like what someone else likes. So... Um, for me, I don't know about the Blackberry um, Basil. The only reason I picked this one up is because I love anything that has berries in it. So I just um, was thinking that it, you know, may smell good. So let me go ahead and give you the notes on this one. Blackberries, sparkling champagne, and also basil. Um, and then this one is 750. Even though it is one of the gentle foaming hands, um, I think this is one of the newer ones, the hand soaps, um, outside of the Black Cherry Merlot. That one is $7.50, and then this one is, uh, I'm sorry, the Black Cherry Merlot Foaming um, Hand Soap is $6.50. Um, however, this one, the Black Berries and Basil, this one is actually, um, this one is actually $7.50. So I'm going to go ahead and smell this one and let you know what I think. Okay, so for the blackberry and basil, I probably won't be purchasing that one again. I do give it like a four or a five on the scale. I do smell berries, but then there's that hint of, um, I smell the blackberries, but it's really, really faint. There's like the smell of, I guess that's that basil smell. Um, I'm really not too keen on that one. So um, probably won't be purchasing that one again. So we will use it, but it won't. I won't purchase it again. Um the next one I picked up was a Margarita, um, Margarita Time. Um, this one also is um, the Island Margarita. I absolutely love this particular can candle. Um, I burn it um, in the summer. So this is one of my holy grails when it comes with the candle. As far as the hand soap, this is going to be a first for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you. This one is also $6.50. So what I'm thinking is, like, their older smells, um, there may be $6.50, and then the newer smells, they're um, $7.50. And as far as the notes on this one, um, it's fresh squeezed lime, uh, fresh squeezed lime, and you pear, and then the sea salt. So I'll go ahead and let you know what I think on my scale. Okay, so on my scale, I give the Island Margarita or the Margarita Time. This one actually gets a 8 on my scale. I love it for summertime. I will purchase that one again. So that one was absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, the next one, I'm going to go down here to the bottom. This is going to be a new one for me. Um, I pretty much was sold on the bottle. Um, I think the bottom, bottle is so cute. Look at the design on it. Um, and I love anything with berries, apples, especially apples. I love, I was, the first thing that came to my mind was fall. So I know I will be utilizing these in our bathrooms for fall. And I'll go ahead and get the price on this one. This one is actually a 50. Wow. Um, the actual notes on this one is ap apple nectar, hibiscus, and sweet orange. So I will go ahead and smell this one and give you, um, uh, my, my number on my scale. Okay, so for this candle, um, this one is a White Barnes um, um, hand soap. Um, this one also is White Barnes, and I didn't get a chance to say that. Um, the one here, this one is Bath and Body Works. This one is White Barnes. Um, this one is the Bath and Body Works. And then this one is Bath and Body Works. And then the Island Margarita is Bath and Body Works. And then the Apple and Hibiscus is actually a white barn. So I'll tell you, I absolutely love the bottle. As I said, um, I love the color. Um, I don't get a lot of the apple. I get a lot of the hibiscus if that's what the smell is. 
Um, but I'm pretty much, I would, I pretty much purchased it for the apple smell. Um, so there's really a hint of the apple and more of the hibiscus. Um, so, um, and then for the price, the price is eight fifty. So this was a, uh, really, really good deal when they had this on sale, um, for the hand soap sale. Again, it was, again, don't quote me, three twenty five or three ninety five. dollars um, and then again, I had a coupon. So, um, I give that one, what did I say I give that one? I'm going to lean towards a seven or an eight with that one. Um, I really, really love apple smells, but it's really, really faint. I would love to smell more. Um, I would love to have smelled more apple in it. Um, but yeah, it's a seven or an eight for me. The next one, this is another one that is going to be a new one. For Cam and I, um, this is called Afternoon Apple Picking. I've never purchased this one for. I love the color of the bottle. Um, again, I love anything that smells like apples, berries. Um, and this one is crisp apple, succulent pear, and then cinnamon. Um, and the price on this one is $7.50. And then this one is going to be a Bath and Body Works. So this one is not a um, white barn. This one feels like it's open. It's got something on the side of it, you guys. So let me go ahead and get the smell on it. The scent, it's actually closed up. So hold on one moment. Okay, as far as the apple, the afternoon apple picking, um, I think I like this one a little bit better than the apple hibiscus. It has a little more apple smell to it. Um, so I give this one a full-blown eight. Um, and again, these are just my opinions. Um, I'm not going to, like, say, check out my review or anything like that as far as, you know, because you have to like what you like. And um, so this is what I picked up for our home. Um, so I give this one an eight. And so let's see what's next. So the next one is going to be pineapple mango. Um, this is going to be Bath and Body Works. And this one is $7.50. Um, I'm going to tell you, um, for the pineapple smells, I actually took back all of my pineapple smells, um, that I had in candle form. Um, I was not happy with them for some apparent reason. Um, I just didn't like the smell anymore and I swapped them out for something that I did like. Um, when I am in Bath and Body Works, there is just so many smells and you really can't get, um, the true smell of something until you take it home. And so Bath and Body Works has an amazing, um, exchange, um, policy. They want you to absolutely love your merchandise. Um, and so I haven't been too fond of the pineapples, so... But I see that little hint of mango in there. So I'm just going to, and I absolutely love anything mango or dragon fruit. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the notes on this one. So this one has fresh pineapple juice, mango, vine wrapping raspberries, or vine ripen raspberries. So I'm going to go ahead and smell this one as well. And then I will let you know what my, um, the score that I give it on my one to 10 scale. Okay, so surprisingly, I'm very surprised. I absolutely love the hand soap, um, this pineapple mango. And I'm, it's probably the mango portion of it that I really, really like about it. So I go ahead and I give that one, actually for the summertime, I'm giving that one a nine. Um, so I really, 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 really absolutely love, love, love that one. And so let me see. Now I'm going to tell you guys. Um gingham um i just really did not not like gingham um i actually had this smell or this particular soap and i may have some more gingham items um in the rest of my haul and these items were specifically for my co-worker um and my youtube buddy um uh, maisha um she does have a channel you guys it's um maisha marie i'm gonna go ahead and link her um her channel to this particular um, uh, video, um, but she absolutely loves gingham. Um, so all my gingham items will be going to her. Um, 
So I just couldn't find it when we went to the office to clean out our desk at work because our office closed down, but I could not find this bottle. And I'm sure there's something else back there in my stash that is gingham and I will be most definitely making sure she has these. Um, blue freeze, what is this? Blue freesia, sweet, I can't read it because the bubbles are here. Hold on. Okay, so it's blue, it's blue freesia, sweet clementine, soft violet petals so um i'll go ahead and smell it even though i smelled it in the store and i don't know what this is here so even though i smelled it in the store um i did not like it in the store um the price on it is 750 but let me go ahead and let you know what it is on my scale okay so surprisingly i actually love the scent and that's why it's good to bring an item home because you can always take it back. Now, I do give it a, maybe a five, six, um, but it's not my type of scent. It's more of that fresh linen smell with a hint of the little flower smell. So um, most definitely I will be um, giving this to Maisha, um, but this is not the scent that I actually, I love. So um, this is a body Bath and Body Works fragrance. So... Yeah, I give this a, a five. The next one I picked up is a Sunshine Lemon. I only have one of these. Um, pretty much anything to do with lemon um, goes in my kitchen. Um, I really love the bottle on this. I love the marbling on that. Um, and then the notes on this one is Yazoo Grapefruit and Sun Rays. I've never smelled a Sunray before, you guys, but okay. <laughs> so let me get the price on this one as well. The price on this one is going to be eight fifty. So this must be one of the newer, um, the newer uh, fragrance. So I'm going to go ahead and let you know what I think about the on my scale what the number is. Um, and um, I absolutely love the Sunshine Lemon. It smells exactly like lemon. It smells like it should be in the kitchen. Um, I give that one a ten. Um, the Kitchen Lemon, let me see what notes are in this one. Zesty Lemon, Sparkling Citrus, and Italian Bergamot. This one I kind of opened. Oh, yeah, that smells good. This one smells like lemon as well, but there's a hint of like some type of cleaning um, product. Um, so I absolutely love this one. Um, let me get the price on it. Price on this one is $7.50. So we have two of those. Um, and for the app, app, afternoon apple picking, we picked up six of those and three of the hibiscus, if I didn't say that. Um, so on a scale from one to 10, I give the kitchen lemon and also the sunshine lemon, they get a 10. Um, these four here are for Cam. Um, these are mahogany teak wood. Um, Cam absolutely loves my mahogany teak wood, um, the candles, um, the hand soap, and what else? The sanitizers, um, the lotions, the body bath. So let me go ahead and smell this one for you. Actually, I'm sorry. Let me give you the notes. The notes on this is a rich mahogany, black teak wood, and dark oat. I'm sorry, dark oak. And the price on this one is $7.50. And let me go ahead and let you know what my number is. Okay, so for the mahogany teak wood hand soap, I actually give it like a seven. Um, it's just okay for me. So yeah, I give that a seven. Um, the next one is going to be one of my favorites. I love anything black cherry. I love anything cranberry. And this is going to be a frosted cranberry. Um, the price on this one is $7.50. And then the notes on this one is frost, uh, frosted cranberry, red delicious apples, and blonde wood. And I'm trying to get it open here. Oh, good, good. This one opened easily, you guys. Hold on. Mmm, that one gets a 12 <laughs> um, really, I give this one a 12. I love any cranberry smells, and this one smells really, really good. So I give the Frosted Cranberry a 12 on my scale to 1 to 10, and we picked up seven of those. And let me see what else we have over here. Um, 
There's only one of the island papaya. And let me get the notes on that one. This one has tropical coconut, fresh papaya, and sugar cane. Let's see if I can get this one off easy. Nope. Wait a minute, it's coming. Oh, yes, it came off. Okay, let me see. Okay, this one is really, 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 really sweet. So, I don't really smell the island papaya. I smell like something really, 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 really sweet. So, the sugar cane is, is pretty much taking over the whole bottle. Um, so, for this one, I give it a four or five um, on the island papaya. Um, and this is Bath and Body Works. Um, so, we have four of the watermelon lemonades, which is my favorite candle for the summer. And this one came off really easy as well. Let me go ahead to the back. The notes on this one is watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. And this one was $7.50. And let me get you the my number on this one. Um, this one gets a eight, nine. Um, I'll give it an eight. So this one gets an 8 on my scale. I really love it. I really buy it again. Um, this one is the White Barn Fragrance. And then this one is the Bath & Body Works. No, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. This one is, that one is the Frosted Car Cranberry. My apologies. So this one is a, the Watermelon Lemonade. Again, I give it a, what did I say? A 7, 8. Um, that's what I give that one. Um, so my next one, I know this is going to be my favorite. Um, I absolutely love anything mango, anything dragon fruit. Um, this is Bath and Body Works. It's mango nectar, sun kissed grapefruit, and sugar cane. So I'm hopeful, hoping, hoping that the sugar cane is not really, really strong on this one. Um, this one is seven dollars and fifty cents. See if I can get this one open. Oh, I didn't hold on to that. Okay, so mango mai tai gets a fifteen on my scale. I absolutely love, love, love it. It smells amazing. So I give that a 15 on my scale. Um, the next one, and these are the last two ones that I have. It's called uh, Beautiful Day. And so let me get the notes on that one as well. This one has wild daisies, pink pennies, uh, peonies, and sun-kissed apples. This one is $7.50. And this one is also, I think this is a Bath and Body Works. Yeah, this is a Bath and Body Works. Oh, this this came off really easy, you guys. Let me get the smell on this one. Um, this is a nice, clean smell for summer. Um, I really, really love this one. Um, I give this one an 8 um, on my scale. So I'll be purchasing that one again for the summertime. So that is our Bath and Body Works soap um haul i hope you enjoyed it go ahead and put a comment below did you um were you able to get into that um amazing sale at bath and body works um i did have to wait outside for a little while typically i'm like the first one at the door but um i went shopping at another store because bath and body works was closed that morning um and there was nobody outside i just assumed there wasn't going to be anybody outside and you know what happens when you assume. So I was in line with everyone else and not in the front of the line that I normally am. So this is actually our Bath & Body Works soap haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and leave us a comment below. Which one of these are your favorites or do you purchase any one of these items? Again, if this is your first time watching our channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you could be part of our Cold Chili family. And to our Cold Chili family, again, thank you for all of your support and I'll see you on the next video.